Oh yeah. There it is. And so this is how you make a labyrinth. So the first thing you're going to need is a space and some marking paint, some string, and a screwdriver, as well as a measuring stick or tape. Start in the center and use the string as a guide. Mark three foot sections on the string, and it helps to have a little drawing you can use as well. Then make the radius of a circle, leaving a three foot gap to be the extension point out from the center of the circle. Next, draw the straight line out to the edge of the final ring. Then, you can take your time working either from the center out in a methodical approach or a bit more haphazardly as you take time to draw each part of the circle and the labyrinth. Be sure to mark the channels that allow people to pass through the labyrinth. When making a circle, simply grab onto the string with your thumb and then spray around the edge. It helps to mark the spaces twice. Then, measure off each intersecting channel and make the appropriate marks there. Refer to the diagram here if you need to. This diagram is a miniature version of the Chartreuse Labyrinth in France. Labyrinths are an ancient practice that allow us to move into a space and then move out of a space, contemplating our own questions and ponderings, but also as a way to move our bodies through space, either by walking or rolling a wheelchair or even by just tracing our finger. Also, watch out for windy conditions. And so that's how you make a labyrinth. You don't have to have lots of skill or expertise, but this is one way it can work. So, a little bit of paint, uh, that's how you make a labyrinth. Thanks for watching the video today, and if you're looking to download a copy of the outline of the miniature chartreuse labyrinth, you can find it below this video. Thanks for watching.